Hi, welcome to Ramesh Soft Video Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll talk about search context interface in Selenium. So, our Selenium begins with the search context. Search context interface is the root for our Selenium. So, what is this search context? Search context is an interface which is specially designed to work with, to identify the, to find the elements based on some locator mechanism. Now see here, let me write the search context interface methods and the pseudocode search context. This interface is having two methods to locate the, to identify the elements based on some locator mechanism. Now public web element find element so it's going to identify the element by some locator mechanism we'll talk end to end so what is public what is web element and what is find element what is this by end to end we'll talk and uh, one more method is there public list of web element find elements by by no so, search context is a root interface in Selenium. Our, selen our Selenium begins with a search context interface. This search context interface is having two methods. One is find element method. One more is find elements method. So, by using search context, um, we can find the element or elements uh, by using this uh, search context uh, based on some locator mechanism. Now, see here, by using find element method, we can identify elements one element by using find elements uh, we can identify the number of elements so the exact difference i'll give uh, just after here whenever we are using find element method it identifies all the elements based on some locator mechanisms but um, it returns uh, the first identified element that is find element method um, identifies all elements but returns uh, the first matching element on the current uh, context so suppose i am writing just over here now i am identifying the elements uh, by using find element suppose i am writing find element uh, find element uh, by dot uh, id id something i am giving like a now what my find element method will do okay? in the dom how many elements are there that is having that is how many elements is having id is equal to l let feel that if it is only one no problem at all it returns this one element as a part of web element and uh, in the case two let feel that it is having eight elements so it identifies all the eight elements with id is equal to a and it returns uh, out of eight uh, the first matching element that is um, it identifies all the elements with id is equal to a but it returns um, the first matching element on the current context that is from the DOM it identifies it returns the first element as a part of this web element now more technical we'll talk in coming sessions right now in find element one more is if the corresponding element is not there then we will get a no such element exception so the first is whenever we call find element method it identifies all the elements based on some locator mechanism if uh, matchings are more than one then it returns always the first matching element and uh, if the corresponding attribute is not there if the element is not there then we will get a uh, no such element exception now so internally what find element method will do it identifies and it returns that element means um, we know that web element is a what interface so whenever we call find element method it returns web element object yes sir. so they may ask you web element is interface right then how we can create the object for web element interface no find element method returns web element um, it means uh, it returns uh, it won't create object for web element interface internally this find element method is implemented in such a way that it returns um, implementation class of this um, interface that is uh, for web element who is the implementation class remote web element is the implementation class so 
whenever we can't find the element method it returns web element object it doesn't mean it is creating web element interface object it is creating and returning web element interface implementation class object so in coming sessions i'll talk now so points to remember is um, the first point about find element method whenever we call find element method based on some locator mechanism it identifies all the elements and it returns only the first identified element next if the only only one element is there then it returns only the first element so if it is having if it is identifying multiple elements so it will give the first matching element on the current context or dom number 2 number 2 whenever we call find element method if the corresponding web element is not there if the corresponding id is not there then we will get a no such element exception number 2 third one whenever we call find element method internally it returns a web element object it doesn't mean it is creating and returning web element interface object it is creating and returning web element interface implementation class object that is remote web element object in coming sessions we'll see very clearly what is the difference between these two right now next one find elements method so by using find elements method we can identify a number of elements based on some locator mechanism that is whenever we call find elements method it returns all elements that is web elements in the form of list so what is a list list is an interface so in next videos in coming videos we'll talk as a part of a collection framework we'll talk end to end so why this find elements method returns only list why can't set why can't set map everything we'll talk so find elements method identifies all the elements based on some locator mechanism the identified elements all that elements um, it returns in the form of list now case number second point in find elements method if the corresponding attribute if the corresponding element is not there then we won't get any no such element exception simply this find elements method returns um, empty list empty list empty list so we won't get any exception but whereas find element method if the corresponding element is not there then we will get a no such element exception but when it comes to find elements method if the element is not there then we won't get any exception simply find element method returns an empty empty list empty list now third one when it comes to find element method it returns web element an object so when it comes to find elements method it returns a list as an object so they may ask you list is interface right but uh, list is an interface my find elements method is not returning list object it is returning list interface implementation class object so internally find elements method is implemented in such a way that so they are returning internally what array list as a object it means uh, list list is equal to new array list return what list right so let me see here just to see the example so what it means so you people don't worry about it practically we'll talk end to end but just uh, just to show me here what exactly the things the what we discussed till now it is correct or not just see the output it is happening right or wrong correctly or not just observe it so how to create the projects how to create the how to automate the test case in effective way at framework level so we'll talk a data driven framework and hybrid framework and page object model framework with all design patterns we'll use it okay so factory method design patterns using singleton design patterns using composite design patterns we'll implement okay in beautiful way using 1.8 1.9 versions okay just listen it basic very basic just see the output observe the output what is happening new let me create one class i'm taking search context test now see here what i'm doing just see the output in in coming videos we'll talk elaborate will now i'm taking i want to launch the browser so i'm writing web driver d is equal to don't write d so write meaningful names web driver is equal to new firefox driver you people don't worry about don't worry about this statement so how we, we need to write all those things this is a first in, first session in selenium right so in going forward we'll talk elaborate will now i want to enter the url web driver dot get off now i'm writing https colon and double slash www.facebook.com facebook.com now see here so i am writing web driver dot i want to find the element 
how you want to find the element by that id so my facebook page is having id is equal to i think uh, let me check out we'll talk you people don't worry we'll talk more elaborate in coming videos so i'm writing facebook.com so just right click click on inspect element don't use firebug and firepath so we'll write our own xpath and our own css selectors now see here what i'm doing so it identifies and it returns the web element now see here so whenever i run this program firefox browser is going to be launched and then as a part of firefox driver constructor it is going to pick up the firefox binary and it launches the default firefox browser and then in that it's going to enter url and then um, technically it will talk in coming videos okay just listen here what is happening now whenever i am calling find element method on web driver it is going to check up in the dom in the facebook page that means in the dom is there any web element which is having id is equal to email yes sir so it identifies and it returns that element in the form of web element now on that i am doing clear and then i am entering send case i am performing data typing actions so ramesh soft dot selling now see here so element is here that's why i won't get any exception it is identifying the web element and then what on that web element we are performing the actions now see here let me run it run as java application Now see here, it is under Ramesh of dot selenium or not? Yes, sir. So just observe the output. What is happening? Forget about how to open the browsers and all those things. Okay. So I am doing it in static way as of now. We'll do it all those things in real time perspective. We'll see. Now we should not write in this web driver here. So we need to create these objects dynamically, and that too we should not write as a part of our test case. So this we need to get it from some configurations file, something where somewhere else config dot properties. This we need to maintain in object repository. Some stories that we'll talk going forward. Right now. Now, so I am giving this ID as a wrong something em I am giving em one two three. Now see here, it is going to check in the DOM. Is there any web element? Is there an element with em one two three? If it is there, it identifies it as. But if it is not there, we will get what? No such element exception. Now see here, right click, run as Java application. Now see here, what is the error we are getting? Let's stop the output. See here, what is what I am getting? No such element exception. That is, uh, if the element is there, it returns that element. If the find multiple elements out of multiple elements, it will give the what the first element from the matching node. And if the element is not there, the corresponding web element is not there, then we will get what no such element exception. That is, find the element method returns what no such element exception. Now let me do it. This one with the find elements. Just up there here, find elements. Now it is going to return list. We'll talk in next videos. Um, what is this list to set map? Everything we'll talk and we'll implement in collection. We'll talk collection framework in beautiful and we'll talk this. Uh, we we'll implement this collection framework in um, Selenium. So in our frameworks, we'll use collection frameworks, generics and regular expressions and all those things we'll talk, including one point lambda expressions. 1.9 everything will talk now see here so find elements there is no element with id is equal to em123 right so if i use find element we got no such element exception right but if you are using find elements method we won't get any no such element exception simply this method returns what empty list now see here sysvo of total number of elements are now plus Something I'm writing email dot so give some influence. Now I'm writing list. Now write here what list dot size. Just observe the output. What is happening? List dot size. Don't think about all those things. We'll talk elaborately. Now right click, run as Java application. Close this two. Now see here. 
even though elements are not there when we are using find elements method we won't get any exception simply this method returning what empty list empty list right so if we do the same thing with find element method we are getting what exception see here so see here web driver dot find element by dot id i want to identify the element with the id something like i am giving right so dot send the keys now see here so element is not there that's why i am going to get what exception 9177914456 now see here if the element is not there then find element method always returns what no such element exception whereas find elements method returns what empty list now see here right click or an as so let me comment out this code run as java application no see here already we got the exception see it here see here what is the exception no such element exception with method what is that id what is the selector em123 but same thing if you do with find elements uh, am i getting any exception now simply this method is returning what empty list if it is there it returns all the elements as a part of list how many elements are there those in those many elements it will return right so this is about uh, find element and uh, find elements in coming videos we'll talk technical and we'll implement what more programs okay so thanks for watching the video have a good day